everybody. It's Sheila Keeter. I am the teacher for inclusion. I have a blog post called teacher for inclusion as well as a teacher's paid teacher shop teacher for inclusion. If you are interested in videos on teachers pay teachers, all different things, then don't forget to hit subscribe. Today, we're going to talk about Pinterest. It is not one of my most favorite topics to talk about. And if you have watched any of my prior videos before, you will see that I am not a huge Pinterest fan. And I apologize to those of you who might take that personally. Um, don't, because it's not personal. For me, in my shop, for some reason, I just haven't seen the conversion rate, but there are other YouTubers out there who swear by Pinterest and swear that it works for them, and I have no reason to believe that they are not being truthful. So I wanted to show you today how to most effectively use Pinterest, because I do know how, even though it's not converting for my store, I do know the best way to use Pinterest. I just don't take the time to do it. So having said that, let's go ahead and go to my share screen. And we're gonna go ahead and start in Canva because that is where most people create pins. So I have a pin here, it's called the crossover. It um, has my daughter, if you have a, a child who is at the grade level that you teach or pins for the grade level that you create, then you are as lucky as I am because I just pay her a few bucks and she does photos for me. Um, now, this is a pin that looks like a review. It's not an actual review. Well, let me clarify that. It is an actual, they are the words that someone said about this particular product. So I'm not doing something sketchy and pretending like it's a review. I took the words that someone has said about the product and I posted them in the pin. So this is a new pin, all the dimensions are correct. Um, I'm gonna download this as a pin file. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm gonna tell you a trick. When you save anything for Teachers Pay Teachers or for any of your social media, keep getting in the way there, you're going to put it in all lowercase. So I'm gonna do the crossover in lowercase with separated by hyphens or dashes, not hyphens, dashes. The crossover dash by dash Kwame dash Alexander. He's the author. And I'm gonna save it. Now, the reason why I save it that way is because that is how SEO reads your pins or anything that you post on your Teachers Pay Teachers site. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and close this out and we're gonna go to Pinterest. Here we go. And I'm gonna start by, let me move this me to the other side of the page. Okay, keep getting in the way there. So I'm gonna go to search, it's this search. And I'm going to type in the crossover by Kwame Alexander. And I'm going to pull up some pins okay, that show the book, the crossover. And I'm going to save them to my Teachers Pay Teacher board, not Teachers Pay Teachers, my Pinterest board. Okay, so just go through and save a bunch to your board, okay? Once you've done that, now, yes, this takes extra work, but if you're gonna use Pinterest, use it in a way where it's it's gonna know what pin you're pinning the first time, right away, right? I mean, if you're gonna do it, let's do it right. So let's say the crossover by Kwame Alexander, novel study. Now this is longer title than I would usually like to use, but we're going to just do it anyway. So I'm going to go to quick access, pull up that pin, and I've already gotten the destination link, so I'm going to post it there. 
Crossover by Kwame Alexander. Novel study is a um, novel study your students will enjoy the rigor and creativity of this lesson, which made no sense, but that's not why I'm doing this. So then I'm going to go ahead and go to middle school. That's my middle school board, and I'm going to publish it. So now Pinterest has just read the crossover by Kwame Alexander that's been pinned to my board a few times. Then I post my pin, the crossover by Kwame Alexander. And now I'm going to go back in to the search bar. Alexander, I can't see the search bar. There we go. I'm going to go back in. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. And I'm going to continue to find pins that have the crossover on it. And I'm gonna to continue to save a bunch of pins that have the crossover on it. Okay, so I have taken my pin and I have surrounded it with the crossover by Kwame Alexander. Now Pinterest knows that, Pinterest knows, and I say it like it's a real person, but Pinterest knows that this is now a pin that is the crossover by Kwame Alexander. There's no doubts. So it will show up in search when people go to look for the crossover by Kwame Alexander. And you only have to pin that pin once and then leave it alone. Okay, don't repin it. Don't put it in tailwind. Just leave it alone. Um, that is the best, most effective way to use Pinterest. And I, I really stand by that. Um, I don't take the time to do that. But hopefully, if you use Pinterest, that might help you um, to make some decisions on how you want to use Pinterest. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Bye-bye.